Here on this Tobacco University video, I'm going to talk about sun-grown cannabis. If you're looking to learn more about sun-grown cannabis, well, let's get into the video lecture here. And really, sun-grown cannabis is really just outdoor grown. It's just a term that's been given uh, to the outdoor grown uh, cannabis that's being produced. However, sun-grown is intended to imply that there's a greater focus on sustainable practices. Sun-grown does not have an exact definition though, and it implies that the sun is the main source of light or energy and not electrical power. The idea behind this term is that the cannabis has been farmed sustainably, healthy, and in natural environments. So that's kind of what this term is meant to mean, even though there's not an exact current definition for it. So why indoor grown in the first place? You know, why, why is there such a thing as indoor grown cannabis? And that's because indoor cultivation of cannabis is simply due to the prohibition of cannabis forcing growers to grow in isolated private locations that were typically in an indoor area. This caused technologies to be developed to allow for this type of propagation, which increased the dependency on electricity. So an estimated 3% of California's household energy use is due simply to the indoor cannabis cultivation. So again, sun-grown, we're utilizing that sun, reducing the amount of energy needed, particularly for lights that can also relate to heat as well. Uh, cost of replicating the sun's energy. So on a national level in 2011, it was estimated that the energy consumption for indoor cannabis consumes 1% of the national electric usage, or about $6 billion per year. It's according to the source located right there. This equates to the production of carbon emissions equal to that of 3 million average U.S. cars for every one kilogram of indoor cannabis produced. So as a result, this is what caused the outdoor or sun-grown movement to try to reduce some of this production of energy when we have the natural sun. So sun grown energy savings is that with outdoor production, this can nearly eliminate the energy needed for the growing of cannabis, which reduces the environmental impacts and also the cost to the grower. So it's a great thing where you can utilize natural resources, and when we have access to the sun, well, that's a great savings there and also environmentally friendly. In addition to savings, growers uh, often use organic products, local water, and that natural sunlight there. So they're reducing cost while hopefully maintaining good yields. The sun-grown advantage states that potencies can be achieved when best practices are used. And there's the source. You can find it in the description. This is supported by the statement that sun-grown uh, diverges from outdoor because it adheres to the use of organic practices and fertilizers, so sun-grown cannabis also carries a myriad of environmental benefits due to avoiding the use of harsh and artificial additives. So this is where that term sun-grown is being utilized to distinguish it just from outdoor growing. Even though the plants are grown outdoors, that sun-grown label is implying that there's a more focus by the grower to sustainable practices. So what are the limitations of sun-grown cannabis? Well, with the variability of the outdoor environment, these variable conditions can cause stresses on the plant and reduce overall production. Uh, equipment used to reduce some of these impacts can reduce the overall carbon footprint efficiency of a growing operation but often will help increase yields. So growers can be caught in that um, kind of limbo where if they're going to implement some uh, in, in kind of practices that may help reduce or buffer some of these stresses, they may be also adding more carbon, which is what they're trying to reduce with the idea behind sun grown. In addition, the seasonality of different regions can also limit the amount of growing cycles that can be completed within a calendar year. So that can be limiting um, as well. Now, sun-grown anecdotal accounts, so people will say, well, sun-grown will pr produce increased potency, improve plant health, more aromas, wider terpene profiles, but again, these are more anecdotal and not necessarily confirmed on scientific lab tests. The sun spectrum advantage, this is one thing that we can agree on, is that there has been lighting studies that demonstrate that there's improved plant performance with UV light and also far red um, light wavelengths, as these do contribute to the photosynthetic process. And both of these are produced naturally in the environment. 
While this may be true, other stresses though typically reduce the overall quality of the buds. So while we're getting a better spectrum, that full kind of sun spectrum, there could be other stresses such as temperature, humidity, rain events, uh, fluctuations in inconsistencies and kind of moderation of temperature as well. Over time, the duration of sun, all of those can be kind of play into the redu reduction in the overall quality of the buds. So lastly, what's the goal of, uh, for sun-grown growers is that the goal of those growers is selecting to follow the practices of sun-grown will have less overall cost compared to indoor production. However, the final product quality may be a battle and not often won compared to indoor operations. So sun-grown growers' goals should be focused on sustainable practices and total biomass production. Due to the reduced cost per plant, growers can often grow more plants and win the biomass production game compared to those indoor growers. However, growing a product for final dry flower will meet stiff competition from the indoor market, so growers should be uh, considering some form of extraction for their product if you're looking at growing the sun-grown route. Simply with the lack of need of energy inputs, for example, for lighting for the photosynthetic process, typically these growers, if they have the land, can produce more biomass, can produce more plants because of the reduced cost overall. And hopefully um, make up the difference with extraction simply by the increased number of plants compared to those indoor growers, which need to have maximum yield because they have a lot of inputs and upfront costs. So hopefully this provides you just a little idea of what sun-grown cannabis is all about.